Hey motherfuckers. Alright, I saw this video uh Mark Bellinger on YouTube where he was using a relay to self charge a battery using a uh met glass core coil <coughs> or transformer and a capacitor bank and he was even powering a load with it. Um and he said that the the extra energy came from the back EMF of the switching of the relay. And uh, what he did is he had this relay wired in series to one side uh, <clears throat> so that every time this energy, this battery energized the coil here, which is a 0.438 kilo ohm uh, coil, um, it would then close this contact, which would then uh, break the connection from, to the battery, and when it opens up, a green spark appears in, in the spark gap there, <clears throat> and that's where that extra energy is coming from, it's coming from the switching. So what I decided, well, I'm just going to take this relay and just hook it up to the battery if the extra energy is coming from the relay, from the switching from the relay. So, I did that, and this is what I found. Okay, we're at, it's in about 13.13 .13 there. <clears throat> now, I'm going to attach, I'm going to connect the battery, and attach the relay, and get this guys going, and you'll see, immediately the battery starts charging up. So you can see it's going up and down. So if I hold it down, higher frequency, it maintains a little bit higher. So yeah, basically the higher you can discharge that back EMF, and let's let it go a little bit, see and it goes back down. But the higher, higher the frequency you can discharge that EMF back into the battery, all I'm doing is I'm just pushing down on the adjuster. I don't even know what this thing is, honestly. But I'm pushing down on it, and it's causing more tension on the spark. I don't know if you can see it in there. My camera does not want to focus. There it goes. Well, my camera hates to focus for some reason. I do not know why. Oh. All right, so here we are, 
and higher and higher, the higher the frequency we go. So I got this all the way up to when I let I let run for like I don't know about an hour, <clears throat> uh, and uh, it went all the way up to 3.71 or 3.72. Um, so oh, there it is. It's back down to its voltage. It's kind of fluctuating back and forth. Add a little bit more frequency, and there it goes back up. Let's push it all the way down. Now it's at 13, so we get it's a clo all the way closed, 13.06. See that spike that happens in the battery when you let it go? So that back EMF is being fed back into the battery. So I let it go again, goes back down, and there's that spike. So every time it turns off, it's sending a spike of energy to the battery, charging it up. Well, just wanted to show you that. Let's see, it's hard to see the little green spark in there. Oh. Hard to see, but oh, there it goes. And when we turn it off, our battery is at 1303. Um, because it did use some energy here for the resistance of the coil. Um, but it'll bounce back up, and usually when it does, it's higher, uh, like here I did, it was at, uh, 13, 13.17, 13 after running it for an hour, and then it was at 13.18, or I'm sorry, it was at 13.17 before the hour, and at 13.18 after I had let the battery settle and uh, settle back to its uh, its regular state where it was at. So it actually gained energy from running the uh, coil in and the uh, switch. So there it is, back EMF fed back into the battery directly.